Underwater cameraman Andy Casagrande and the crew of Strictly Business have just made a nearly 200-mile journey from the southwest coast of Australia to a potential undiscovered great white shark hotspot. And no sooner do they drop anchor in these uncharted waters than several great white sharks surround the boat. Well, here we go. This is the supposed Isle of Jaws, this brand new white shark hotspot out in the middle of nowhere. I've seen a couple of white sharks at the surface, but I can't quite tell what's down there until obviously I jump in. So I'm gonna suit up, get in the cage, and head on down to see what kind of action lies beneath. While Andy suits up, the crew keeps the sharks close to the boat. Hey, he's fast! <laughs> Andy is using a six camera virtual reality rig to capture a 360 degree view of the waters below. Are you receiving, Andy? Great white males reach sexual maturity when they've grown to about 11 and a half to 13 feet in length. So these sharks are juveniles and subadults, like great white teenagers. smaller size and behavior. These sharks could have originated from the birthing site fisherman Anthony Dupain discovered. These sharks look like the perfect size range for sharks that are learning to hunt larger prey. Yeah, don't let them practice on you too much, Andy. Well, these guys are starting to get pretty amped up, They're starting to bounce into the cage. Probably a good idea if we call it now. Unbelievable. There are different sharks down there, all coming up at different times. The little one at first was coming super close. I thought it was actually going to bite that thing. And then it kind of spooked off, and then I saw a bigger male circling down deep. Came up, checked it out quickly. And then the third one came up, was even more dominant, hung around. But there's definitely sharks down deep. Now, Andy needs to find the great white mothers. If he finds large females, they too may have migrated here from the pupping ground. Lots of sharks down there, but there's also some down deep that I couldn't actually film or get to. So I'm going to drop the VR rig down below, and hopefully pick up on those big sharks on the bottom. Once the camera settles into position, Andy and video technician Matt Hutchins start to see some of the larger great white shadows below. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Whoa. What is that? Uh, it's a male. That's a 
pretty big male too. I don't. I did not see that male in the cage. No, I think he might have been fairly, fairly deep down. Yo, yeah, oh, there's another one. This is definitely a different shark. It's hanging out on the bottom. I'm not sure why it wouldn't come to the boat, but that just tells me that there's more sharks in this area. It seems the biggest sharks are staying deep, while the younger ones are coming right up to the boat. It's almost like the teenagers are up top, you know, playing with us on the boat, and these yeah. big males are lurking down below. That's pretty cool, cool man. Man. They come right in and check it out. <laughs> Again, that's that same male. This guy seems to be giving us a pretty good show. Yeah. Okay, that was a male, and that is, that's another male. There's another one yeah. on the bottom, but I haven't seen a female down here. That puts the count at eight great white sharks in the first two hours. All of them are male. The fact we haven't seen any females is a bit of a mystery, but maybe there's still something we haven't seen. The intrigue surrounding the Isle of Jaws is growing. But these white sharks aren't giving up their secrets easily.